Babe, wake up. It's time for your monthly Isaac run <laughs> or something something along those lines. Yeah, uh, hey, you know, it's been, it's been a while and all that usual stuff. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this isn't this isn't the daily shtick anymore. So we're just playing a bit of Isaac. I ain't touched this game in a month. I've been I've been doing other stuff. I've been busy. You know you know how it is. You know how we roll. You know how we ball, speed ball for that matter. Ain't that something? Anyway, I hope you're doing good and all that. You know all the usual stuff. Get that out of the way. What's been up? How come I've not done anything? Look, okay. Look here. Here we go again, right? This is the talk we have every month. Have I effectively killed this channel by not uploading daily anymore? Yeah, absolutely. Was this channel originally only intended as an experiment to see if I could pull off daily uploads for a year? Yes. Why am I still making videos anyway? Because I'm bored right now, okay? Sometimes boredom hits me and I, I realize, wait a minute, I got this thing going on. I might as well just talk about some stuff and play some Isaac. Finally got a damn key, by the way, to check out what is in here. Mercurius. Not bad. Not bad. That being said, maybe I'll just miraculously get a charge and might re-roll it. Who knows, right? It's not a bad opportunity to maybe fish for something better. Because uh, while well, Mercurius is good, what if I got like a Terra or something like that? That would make me really happy right now. Anyway, what's the matter, right? If you've been following me on Twitch as well, you would have maybe noticed that I probably haven't like streamed for like a month now at this point. And for once, it's not even intentionally. I've actually been wanting to stream, I've just deadass not really gotten around to it at all. Like, I've been wanting to, I I didn't stop streaming again, be like I went on like a small hiatus because I fell out of it, no, it's, I just literally hadn't, hadn't at the time. Like I, I started taking a little absence of anything here because I had an exam coming up at the end of March, um, or like well the third week of March, it was the 21st I think. So I was like, you know, yeah, I'm just gonna take some time to like study and stuff. I'm not gonna stream every day or anything like that, which I wouldn't have done anyway. But you know what I mean, right? I was like, yeah, let's just take some time for that. Exam came and went. It was pretty easy. I didn't struggle with it at all. I still don't know the result because it's taken forever to grade it. But you know, I'm pretty sure that I passed it fairly easily. I'm not worried about that in the slightest or anything of that. No shot speed down. Oh no, I am so worried. Uh, turns out I didn't get a charge by the way, so I guess I'll just take this. That's. A-okay by me. You think there is a secret room here? Well, we're at it. Let's go. Might as well. Uh, you reckon it's gonna give me a charge because it spawned enemies? I doubt it. I doubt it would. They wouldn't do that, right? They wouldn't do that. Edmund wouldn't do it. wouldn't be that kind to us. But yeah, after that, I uh, I was also, or while I was doing that, I also finished up another Elden Ring playthrough, because you know how it is with me. A uh, matter of fact, I haven't done one in April yet, so you damn well <laughs> know there's probably more in the hopper for me. P potentially, anyway. So yeah, after that, exam, I did another Elden Ring playthrough, uh, which was a randomizer playthrough that I'd been planning to do for a while. And mind you, I did actually record it. Uh, will I use any of that footage to turn it into an actual video or series of videos to go up potentially on this channel? Because I think it would be very fun. Well, that's the intent. That's why I recorded it. Yeah, it's a pretty self-fulfilling prophecy. The, the problem is, I don't know if I'll have the time, man. It's like 30 hours of footage, you know? I, 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 I forgot how to play this game, by the way. I have no memory of how you play Isaac. It's been a month, okay? Uh, you know, like, it's... That's a tough answer, man. Because, here's the thing. As, as you might have noticed, a couple of days ago, by the time this video goes up, at least, uh, a Lethal Company video went up, which is... You know, well out of season. Nobody cares about that game anymore. It's not even the new hotness anymore. It's still a good game, but you know, nobody gives a shit. It hasn't been a big update for a while. Why did I sit on the footage for four months? You know, just like not using it at all. Right, I can just walk through rooms to like make efficient use of my charges. Should be doing that anyway. Although that being said... Ah, oh, well, I'm not gonna deal this for anyway. I already got hit. I'm not, I'm not sweating that anymore. So, you know, like... That, that's, that's just my... Not even laziness, but like just my... Messed up workflow showing again, because, like, I could have totally finished that sooner. Uh, it was just a ton of footage, like, months worth of footage that I was sitting on, and then, you know, didn't get around to editing until, well, finishing editing until the end of March, beginning of April. It's, uh, it's a messed up thing, man. Why'd you ever think I'd try switching up things with this channel the, to begin with, and, you know, do the daily uploads and stuff? Well, because I... Wanted to learn how to do a faster workflow, and then I fell out of it again immediately. I don't I don't know how that happened, but hey, here we are. So, uh, yeah, that's how we've arrived at this point. And that's why you're watching an Isaac video now, because I just felt like recording an Isaac video. I got an afternoon where I just feel like I have a little bit of time, and I felt like I might as well go to town. Might as well do a little bit of, little bit of Isaacing. 
because it's been so it's been so long. I haven't touched Ballast in a while either, man. Gotta play more of that. Though I'll probably wait for the big patch for that game. Yeah, that's a good idea. But yeah, that's just, just what, that's just what my, my spring has been. I've just been enjoying life, you know. You know, you know how it is. You know how it comes. Nothing special. Nothing, nothing egregious or anything like that. But yeah, we did a Stardew Valley playthrough as well that I didn't record. Um, but Leo and I were basically done with now. And then I've just been watching a bunch of stuff lately. Like I finally got around to watching Konosuba. Finally started watching Dungeon Meshi. Just, just, just been, just been hanging out with friends and doing stuff and enjoying my life and all that. But yeah, um, streams may resume this week. I, I think that's that's a that's a good thing to say. Yeah, <laughs> that that might be what we've arrived at. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, I'll actually get back to that. I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. Now that I've got a little bit of time, although not much. That's the thing. Like uni's gonna pick up again sooner rather than later. Even though I'm on break for now. I gotta do a little bit of uni stuff. I gotta get around to actually doing my damn bachelor's thesis as well. That's, uh, that's on the horizon now. I can't really push push that away anymore. It's about damn time I do something for that. You know, it's it's just gonna it's just gonna take a take up a lot of my time. If I was a normal person, this time would have already been taken up about three years ago, and I wouldn't have to worry about it now. But hey, you know, everybody moves at their own pace in life and whatnot. And that's how we are here. That's just what life is about. <laughs> anyway, that's a lot of rambling for me to talk about why there just hasn't been stuff on this channel for a while. Look, I've been... I've been quote-unquote busy. I've been pretending I'm busy. Uh, what I've actually been is just... You know, not doing YouTube stuff. It's interesting how, like, everything that I do on YouTube has always devolved to this point. Like, where I just, like, lose interest and motivation at some point. It's not even that I lost motivation for this channel. It's just, like... I don't know, I got preoccupied with other stuff, right? And then I'm like, ah, well, you know, I might as well just do this other stuff. Who cares, right? That's the, that's the crux of it. I mean, I've basically killed my main channel as well. Uh, with promises of maybe eventually reviving it with a big project that, uh, yeah, you know, I've made zero progress on since last year as well. But everything in due time, I'm sure we'll get there, right? It's just a matter of, uh, I guess, how I approach the, the, the content creation thing. I love doing it, but I also... I don't know, I don't think I've got the drive, you know? This is this a crazy thing YouTube's gotten in, like, the... over the last, like, decade, man. It's been like a transformation, you know? In the middle of the 2010s, you could just, like, fucking make videos about anything and people would be like, holy shit, and then now you... like, you know... Time has come and gone, run its course, the... The level of, uh... The level to just get something going is so much higher. Like, the bar of entry, the, the, the bar to clear for YouTube stuff, by the way, I'm gonna... We log, so I don't have to worry about it. I'm excited. Uh, it's just it's just been put up so much, man. It's crazy, bro. I've noticed this trend with uh, with YouTube where actually I actually noticed this trend within TF2 content of all things. If you're aware of what I'm talking about, you'll you'll notice fairly quickly where because that game has had had such a drought for updates. There's literally no new content in that game for like seven years now, right? There's been absolutely fucking nothing to talk about whatsoever that people have resorted to just making like the most mediocre meaningless content possible what do i mean by that like the content itself is actually all right as in people spend a lot of time working on the videos and like you know editing and stuff but the points they're making are actually completely moot there's nothing being said i saw like an example of like somebody posted it on twitter that's not somebody who i follow and it was like a like a an insanely well edited like you know 3d animations and whatnot weapon review or whatever but what the, what bro was talking about in the video was complete nonsense like he wasn't actually making any point what he was saying was completely like com just just not something that makes any sense it was it was it was nonsensical it doesn't he wasn't actually making any point is what I'm trying to say, you know? Like, he was just saying stuff for the sake of saying it, but what I'm trying to say is, you know, I feel like on YouTube these days, we've gotten to the point where everybody knows how to edit. Everybody's like a fucking crazy editor. They can make, like, you know, fancy animations and stuff happen. But nobody knows how to write. <laughs> nobody knows what they're actually going to be talking about. Everybody just wants to make YouTube videos, but they don't know what they're going to make them about. They have no dry, no uh, vision for anything, I feel, you know? I obviously I'm not gonna count myself out of that either. I think I'm guilty of it. I've been guilty of it in the past at least. I've I've I've, I've done stuff like that in the past where I've been guilty of uh, you know, uh, let's just make a video for the sake of making a video. That's kind of what this is, except this is a completely different story because it's just, you know, me rambling over gameplay in a game that I'm, well, not complete trash at, but also not great at. 
And I might die to this ghost if I'm not careful. There you go. I need to stop shooting as soon as I enter a room because I need to use camel on these. <laughs> Chat, thank you for reminding me of that, by the way. That's, that's kind of you. Good lord. Good lord. He's bouncing. He's bouncing all over the place. But yeah, you know, that's just what my life's been. I've just been just been chilling. That's a nice item. Love to see that. It's curious though, isn't it? How quickly you can fall out of a routine again. Like I... I had the routine of making the Daily Isaac videos on his channel, and it, it worked well. It was a bit, you know, a bit draining sometimes on the, on the stamina and whatnot, but, you know, it worked out. And then I fall out of it, and I go back to my normal routine of just, like, not doing that. And, uh, well, I ain't complaining either, but it is, it is quite something. But yeah, I think that, that like, Lethal Company video was, like, the wake-up call for me to be like, okay, I'm gonna get this video done, I'm gonna get this project done, even if it's, like, three months overdue and nobody cares about Lethal Company anymore. Uh, I'm still gonna do it anyway, just because I gotta get it done, I gotta do it, you know, it's just for closure's sake or whatever. And, um, <clears throat> move on to Greener Pastures, aka, well, maybe the Elden Elden Ring randomizer playthrough. The, 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 the messed up thing with the Elden Ring playthrough is, that shit's got, like, an actual expiration date on it. Because if I want to make those randomizer clips or like you know that randomizer play for into an actual video i have to finish that before june 21st because that's when shadow of the earth tree comes out and not only will i absolutely not have any time for a video after that because i'll be playing shadow of the earth tree a lot probably but you know it'll be irrelevant because it's all pre-dlc footage and shit like that who cares to what like people probably already barely care to watch an elden ring randomizer playthrough but they definitely won't care to watch one that is six months old by the time it releases you know and it's completely obsolete, as in all the gameplay is from, you know, an old version of the game. <laughs> I, I I think at least. I mean, that's what, that's what my opinion of it would be, but but yeah. So we'll see if I ever get around to that, I suppose. I'm, I'm never going to promise anything ever again. I think that's the... You know, I've, I've noticed this. The biggest problem that in my entire quote-unquote YouTube career, quote-unquote career, I've had is that I always get these grandiose ideas. I get these great ideas for stuff that I should make where I'm like, oh yeah, that would be an awesome idea. And then I tell people about them and I get like, you know, other opinions and stuff like that. And then they never come to fruition because I not even necessarily lose interest in them, but I kind of like lose that little spark of inspiration I had and it just like kind of sits for a while, right? And then it takes like forever to get anywhere and then it never gets finished. And then, you know, people sometimes are like, oh, whatever happened to this project you had ideas for? And I'm just like, yeah, um, <clears throat> you know, I kind of forgot. Kind of didn't get any more inspiration out of it. I feel like it's been happening a lot to me. And uh, I got I to gotta find a way to break out of that, man. I got to find a way to get out of that, man. Am I am I getting annoying, by the way, with just like every every video that comes up once a month on this channel just being like, oh, me talking about how I feel about the, the current state of this channel? <laughs> I need a better icebreaker, man. I need something better to talk about, you know? I need something better to, uh, to intro with. I don't know, okay, here's a bit that I cooked up. Um, you know what my dad's been up to? He's, like, I can obviously tell he's, he's, he's getting old, right? Like, it's, there's no beating around the bush. He's getting old, and I feel like he's hitting the, you know, the, 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 the age where old people get kind of strange and uh, annoying, maybe, quicker than I hoped he would. But, I, you know, if you, you might remember that a, a little while ago I told him off for always watching, like, random YouTube videos while we were having lunch together as a family. Uh, and he stopped doing that, which I, you know, I'm happy about. I, I like that he did. You know, let's roll this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I appreciate that he, you know, actually took that criticism to heart and he did it. That's, that's very nice of him. I don't care, you know, if he, like, wants to watch brain rot inducing YouTube shorts on his own time. Uh, that's completely okay. I'm, I'm okay with that, because I do the same with Instagram sh uh, reels. <laughs> so, you know, like, everybody's got their own demons to fight, right? You know what? I'm willing to even do this, because it gives me a lot of money. I want this. Now I just gotta find my secret room, and I feel like it could be right here. Damn. Curse of the blind trying to find this Curse of the lost, I mean, trying to find this shit is awful. Alright, thank god it's right here. GB bug. Well, I'm not taking that. But it gives me an opportunity to reroll, and that's something. So yeah, since uh, since then, he is um, he had a brief phase where he was obsessed once more with just randomly watching CCTV footage that our little cameras he put up around the house have recorded, who are which are by the way almost certainly unsecured and uh, can probably be hacked into and like you know fucking compromise our home security or whatever. But it's not like it really matters. It's not like you know 
it's a big deal. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you know, that's, uh, that's something I should probably look into at some point, someday, maybe, who knows. And then, more recently, he's been... His, his most recent exploit, his most recent, um, well, little, little piece of work that he's put in, was, for some reason, he doesn't like that within our house, especially downstairs, the mobile reception isn't flawless. It's not even bad. You get like two out of four bars. It's not amazing, but it's not bad, right? It's it's not flawless. And and that's that, that's kind of bo been bothering him. So as you know, he loves ordering shit from China. He ordered like a fucking 4G wireless signal booster thingy. Uh, is there anything I can even reroll on this floor? I can't tell, man. I hate Curse of the Lost. I don't remember, man. I've been talking about shit that don't matter to me, man. I don't want to, like, use lose the D6. I guess I'll roll that. Okay, well... Damn. <clears throat> Probably should have bought it first, just for the bombs and uh, getting it cheap, but oh well. So, uh, you know, he bought a wireless 4G booster. The, the things that you usually see in, like, big halls or university campuses and hospitals and shit like that, right? Big buildings that actually need that because they struggle with the reception because there's not only going to be a lot of devices, but they're also just big buildings that are usually insulated from uh, wireless signals because they're made of steel and stuff. He bought one of those and has been desperately trying to get it to work. Has been desperately trying to get it, get it running, get it, you know, get the best reception from the antenna and stuff like that. And I've just been wondering like, why? What is the purpose of doing this? I'm genuinely struggling to understand. Because when you're at home, you have Wi-Fi anyway. Which, to be fair, our Wi-Fi is spotty sometimes as well. And that I can understand taking issue with. That's what you get, like, you know, a wireless booster, a mesh network, whatever for. That's that's what they're for. Um, I, I can understand that. I can understand wanting to fix that. And he has, for the most part, fixed that. That's kind of what you do. That's not a difficult fix. What I don't understand is why do you care about mobile data? Why do you care about your wireless reception? It's still good enough to make phone calls with. Um, you're never gonna use mobile data at home. Why? Like, why would you? You have Wi-Fi. You have no reason to use mobile data. And even if you're gonna use mobile data, you're not gonna fucking break your contract. You're not gonna go over your data limit by using it for like a few minutes. What's there to worry about, right? Like, I don't understand why he's so obsessed with this idea of, um, of getting perfect mobile reception downstairs. It, it's just, like, I, I don't really mind. Like, it keeps him busy, keeps him working, right? He's retired, he's got, uh, he's got to do something. But at the same time, it's just, like, such a wasted effort, I feel. It's so useless. Like, what's the point? What's the point of doing it, right? <laughs> it's just, it's just kind of silly to me. You, you, I don't know, you can't make this shit up, man. Like, boomers will really retire and then be like, alright, let's just have, like, a shit ton of completely useless projects. I don't know, man, I don't get it, you know? Like, not only is he doing all that, which is whatever, that shit is gonna be obsolete in, like, five years anyway. At the, at the best. It's gonna be obsolete anyway, because there's gonna be newer, more powerful wireless technology for your phone to connect to or whatever. Right? They're not gonna stay at 4G speeds. Nah, man. Sure, we might be in Germany, so it might be more like 10 years. Let's be honest, it's gonna take a little bit longer for that shit to trickle down here, but... Still, it, you know, like... I just don't get it. I just don't get the, the weird obsession he has with that. I guess if there really is just nothing else to do, there's literally nothing else to do around the house, he's, he's gotta do something instead, right? I get it. I get it. It's just, it's just a little strange. It's just a bit, a bit, a bit kooky, you know? I wonder if everybody's parents just go to that point at some point. I do like Explosivo. I kind of want to use my charges on rerolling the library instead. If I even get the opportunity to. Not looking like I'll get much more in terms of charges in general. Kind of got to use them where they count. AKA potentially a deal on this floor or something like that, you know? Hey, yo. Hey, I should get my final guppy piece too. That's pretty big. Um, this stuff is not so nice. This stuff is a little nice. I like Iodia Cult, and that's what I'm gonna stick with. There's always gives me an opportunity to talk about like recent events as well. <laughs> from from what has happened in the past month. Uh what else happened this past month? That was kind of crazy. Yeah, so like Boeing just killed that guy, huh? Bo Boeing really just went and killed that one guy, huh? Like, it's it's pretty much guaranteed they did, right? Obviously. Lord knows what the investigations say or whatever, but it's I forgot I can fly by the way, I'm guppy. 
But like, you know, they, they killed that guy, right? In case you're unaware, somehow, if you missed the story, I think everybody's aware that Boeing has been having some uh, quality control issues, let's say like that, uh, at the very, very mildest, lately, where a lot of their planes just kind of fall apart in midair, mid-flight, which is kind of funny, but also obviously extremely fucking scary. If you're ever on one of those planes, I, I do not envy you. I, I hope you can get off of it uh, quickly enough and don't have to worry about it. But yeah, um, and then apparently there was a whistleblower. Uh, you know, see, I, I would love to take this, but unfortunately for you, you have been created in the secret room, which means I am much better off re-rolling this. And that's what I will do. And yeah, so like there was a whistleblower, and apparently during the investigation, like after he, well, blew the whistle and, you know, um, explained himself and all that the, the the boeing guys were like hey can you stay in in town for like one extra day so we can get like your story straight tomorrow and shit like that and he acquiesced and then he was murdered that night in a hotel room so um you know i'm not saying boeing killed that guy but it's highly coincidental and suspicious of them to say, hey, can you stay an extra day? Uh, and then him being murdered that exact day. I'm just saying, there's something a little sus about that. <laughs> you know, that wouldn't really happen normally. I feel like uh, he would have been alive had he not stayed for an extra night. It's, uh, it's a bit curious, that one, don't you think? I'm not saying... The Boeing Corporation, if you're listening, although I usually fly with European airlines that have Airbuses, yeah, sure. Uh, you know, I, I'm just saying... I might as well pick this up so it doesn't show up again. Another charge out of this as well. Isn't that, like, crazy, man? Like, that they just... They, they seem to be getting away with it, too. Although, who knows for how much longer they will really get away with it. I feel like Boeing's kind of screwed. I can't see anything. There's, like, big-ass tears all over the screen. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of wild. Industrial assassination stuff going on, like, god damn, dude. It's kind of kind of crazy, man. Hmm. I just give me the damage out of this, whatever. They both would have been mediocre damage ups, so it don't even matter that much. Goddamn, the flies are doing marvelous work. Who knew that preemptively picking up Hive Mind because you knew you were gonna get Guppy is uh, a good idea, huh? That's crazy. Okay, lost contact is also nuts, <laughs> considering piercing tears. Uh, life's pretty good, huh? This run's going pretty damn fine. Who would have thought? It's just Isaac. Just playing Isaac. That's a lucky penny. That's worth more than like four random ones, honestly. IMO. I think that's a, that's a good deal. There's another bit that I was kind of cooking up uh, a while ago, and uh, I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna take this one, but but bear with me for a minute, okay? So you know how everybody always talks about post nut clarity. <laughs> People just can't help themselves. People talking about it all the time, man. Everywhere I go, people just talking about post not clarity every every waking moment. The the the, the thing with post not clarity is, or the, the phrase post not clarity, much rather, implies the existence of the opposite state, aka pre nut delusion, right? Which is all fine and dandy. That's that's perfectly sensible, yeah. But here's the thing: how long? Like, we need to identify some some constraints here. How long does the state of post-nut clarity last? I think the average person would probably say, ah, oh, maybe like a, 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 an hour, maybe a couple of hours at most, and then you're back to normal. So is your normal state pre-nut delusion? You know, like how, you know, after waking up, you're basically just waiting until going to bed again? Like, after sleep is the next before sleep type of deal? So like, at which point does the delusion kick in? Are you in a constant state of delusion unless you're in post-nut clarity? Are you constantly in pre-nut delusion? Is that just like your average state of mind? I if so, why aren't, why aren't like the biggest philosophers of our time jacking off 24-7? Uh, you know, like, I don't know, I feel like I'm kind of cooking here, you know? Because you wouldn't argue that the people who have to be sanest of mind 24-7 uh, have to be jacking off all the time. They have to making sure that they're constantly in a state of uh, clarity. Obviously that doesn't make any sense, right? But you also wouldn't argue that somebody is in a constant state of delusion, right? Maybe? I don't know. I don't really know how this whole thing works. <laughs> I've never really interfaced with that. I don't really know how any of this works. I'm just I'm just spitballing here. Um, you know, if you're gonna say that the, the, the clarity lasts a couple of hours, what at which point does the delusion kick in? How long does the delusion last before you switch to clarity? Because the switch from delusion to clarity should happen instantaneously, right? There's a there's a single a single point in time when it changes from the delusion 
to the clarity. Does the delusion grow until the point of clarity is reached? I don't know, maybe I'm approaching this wrong. Maybe the existence of clarity doesn't necessarily imply that there has to be the opposite, aka the delusion. Maybe that's just not even how it works, right? Maybe there is no such connection at all. Maybe they're completely separate. It looks like a lot of my mods have stopped working, huh? Time machine doesn't seem to exist anymore. <laughs> oh well, I mean, hey, that's why I get for not playing the game for a month. That's, it's just that's just how things be, I suppose. Oh well, oh well. I haven't really checked in to see if any of them work or any anything broke or anything like that. And I'm not really worried about it either. It's not like it matters. I didn't see that bomb, to be honest. It was kind of obscured. Do you know what's been messed up? Like, it's April now, right? A couple days ago. It's warm right now, matter, matter of fact. It's like, what's it? According to my phone, it's 23 degrees out. Uh, that's Celsius, obviously. Uh, which is, you know, pretty warm. But it's not, like, egregious. A couple days ago, it was like 20 fucking 6 or 28 degrees outside. And I was like, what the fuck? Brother, it's the start of April. It's not supposed to be this warm yet. Come come back to me in like a month. Like in, in May? Sure. Like that's, that's yeah. I'm okay with those temperatures in May. April? It's a bit soon, man. It's a bit too soon. I don't, I don't want that. I was like, I had to, matter of fact, I gotta do it right now. I gotta turn on the damn AC. It's just too damn warm. <laughs> it's too, it's too warm for me, man. I hate it here. Fucking climate change ass, stupid ass motherfucker bullshit. Oh man, because I didn't make the Daily Isaac videos. I missed out on my... I'm complaining about daylight savings again this year. God damn it. It's a it's a yearly tradition for me to complain about daylight savings. Uh <laughs> because, you know, it sucks. I think I, I I hate it. And also it actually did fuck me up quite a bit this year. Because the very night that it happened, I also stayed up just a bit too late. And I ended up getting absolutely no sleep and it fucked my sleep schedule for like a whole week because I was like, you know, oh man, I gotta take a nap in the afternoon and then it kind of just spirals from there, right? Like, I'm in my mid-twenties now. It doesn't happen too often anymore that I stay up way too late and that I, you know, fuck up my sleep schedule. It happens a lot less frequently. It happens like maybe once every few months. And even then, it's not like I fuck up my sleep schedule royally because I always get up at the same time. Basically, it just enti entails whether or not, like how late I go to bed basically just entails whether or not I take a nap <laughs> later that day uh, if I'm feeling way too tired. Which is, you know, one thing or another. That's not really that big of a deal. Missing that one extra hour of sleep on daylight savings time, man, that kind of fucked me up for like a whole week. It was... it was fucked, man. Why are we still doing this shit, man? I understand that it's not high up on most politicians' agendas to get rid of daylight savings time, but can we just get rid of it already? Like, nobody likes it. It doesn't work. It doesn't fulfill any fucking purpose. Nope. There's, there's no point in having it, man. Like... It fucks up, like, global scheduling because, you know, fucking North America for some reason switches to daylight savings time, like, three weeks earlier than Europe does. It's, it's just like, like, why are we doing this? Why are, we, why are we doing it like this, you know? Why aren't we at least being a little smart about it? Why am I doing this? I don't know, I just feel like it. Is am I not allowed to play a blood bank for no reason? In the year 2024? Has Woke killed that as well? <laughs> We're not allowed to have fun anymore because of woke. That's a good item. I'll just gladly take that. Thank you very much. Do these spikes work when you're flying? Oh, they do. Cool. They're like curse rooms. I'll, I'll hit it a bit. I got I got wafer. Sure. Thanks for dark matter. I should just be beelining for the damn boss, man. There's no reason for me to do the whole floor. I don't even care about that chest. Matter of fact, I I, I don't even know why I'm clearing rooms for. I, I went back for the chest, by the way. What am I clearing rooms for, man? Just go. Just walk. You can literally just skip rooms. There's no point in clearing them. Well, let's just fight Satan and get it over with, you know? Enjoy life. You know what's interesting to me as well? Matter of fact, probably the very last video that went up on this channel, the very last Isaac run. I was talking about how YouTube gave me like a new layout for the watch page. Because they were like probably like testing it and you know only rolling it out to a few people. Yeah, my watch page switched back to the old layout. And then one of my friends got the new page instead. Like they're, they're rolling it out like doing A-B tests but like with different groups and then rolling it back. And like, I don't really know what the, what the point of it is. I don't know why they're doing it like that, you know? I mean, if I'm going to take anything here, obviously I want to take Dead Cat, because it's just like an extra free item. So I might as well take this, might as well take this, re-roll these two, okay, don't care for them, whatever. I just realized, yeah, obviously I should have played that sack room last floor, because I never got the key pieces on this run. I never got an angel deal. Completely forgot about that part. Uh, I saw the sack room and everything, and I just chose to ignore it. That being said, maybe I should have just kept the soul of Cain. That would have done it as well. Oh, I'm probably gonna find a way to open that door. I'm not too worried about it. Oh yeah, I watched the Dune movies, both of them, part one and two. I watched those recently. I did say I watched a lot of stuff lately. But I've been, I've been just been in the media minds. 
Can we? Ooh, that's a lot of HP. Thank you. <laughs> gladly take that. Uh, that's homing. I'll gladly take... Ow, gladly take that. Don't care much for Candy Heart, though. Right now, at least. Was wondering what all the Lisa and Alga Eep memes were about, and now I know. I, I get it now. I get it now. It's cinema. It's pure Kino, dude. Oh, good, good movies, man. They, they, they ruled. I like them. Oh my god, why am I getting all the crazy stuff now? Like, Jesus Christ. Heck, X, I also get spun? Like, good lord. Not quite fast enough to auto-fire yet, obviously. That makes sense. Dunce cap? That's actually good with Tech X, man. I'm taking that. Fuck yeah. Plus, I can get conjoined out of this sooner rather than maybe later. I should have also paid attention to the fact that that would obviously be happening there, yeah. Expect streams to return now that I've probably got at least a little bit more free time again, although... I got projects to work on and stuff to do as well. But I think I could squeeze in some more streaming again. I'm gonna... You know... Say no, maybe, sometimes, if a friend invites me to play a game and be like, Yeah, I'd rather be streaming right now, you know? Oh, it's the, the bombs item again. The blood bombs. Sure. I mean, why not? We're just gonna kill the lamb and see what happens afterwards. No void portal, huh? Look, I, this run is good. I can't just end it on that. Right? Like, come on. We can't just end it on that. We gotta do something here. We gotta have some fun with it. No, we gotta do something crazy! Something wild and insane! Holy! <laughs> Holy, though. I guess there's a final piece of media that I've kind of interacted with, even though it's a bit strange to talk about it like this, but... You know, like, I've been playing Ark Knights for, like, over a year now. I finally actually got around to reading some of the damn story, and uh, what people were saying is true, that the, they were not exaggerating. The writing in that game is actually fucking peak. It's insane. The world building and the writing, once you get past like the original few chapters that are kind of slow, is absurdly good. And I am glad I finally got to reading it. And oh, hey, there's a void. Cool. Like, Arknights has an insanely good story. For, like, it's crazy that like for a gacha game, they went so all out. It's it's kind of wild, man. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I actually have a reason to read the stories and stuff now, which is uh, fun. Lumber Boy? Nah. Give me some speed, actually. Don't mind it. So that's been fun. Oh, cool. Speaking of fun. Death certificate, huh? At this point, I don't think it's a good idea to really take Lich Crown, because it's so late in the run anyway. So you know what I will do? I just want to see that... Uh, actually, you know what I will do? I'll take Soy Milk, because I want to auto-fire. I want to be able to shoot constantly. Rock Bottom would be... Actually, you know what? No, I think about it. No, actually, I have, I have Camo Honey, so I should just take Rock Bottom. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's actually a much better idea. Thank you for encountering this item before I made a bad decision and encountered soy milk or something. <laughs> oh, it's still not quite fast enough. God damn, I need another another bit of a tears multiplier of some kind. But at least I got to keep the damage too, which is pretty huge. Would be awesome if a boss could provide me with something like soy milk though. Because <laughs> now, oh boy, now we would be cooking. Oh, it's a lyric. Never mind. Doesn't matter. He's gonna teleport like crazy, but also he's gonna die like crazy. And my hand is already hurting from tap firing so much. Hey, Delirium, can you die? Thank you all! Thank you all very much for your patronage. I appreciate it. That's it from me for today. I hope that you have enjoyed yourself as much as I usually tend to do. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this at all. Uh, <laughs> which is rich from the guy that just at the start of the run was talking about how uh, he's fallen off or whatever. But yeah, uh, I'll see you again eventually uh keep your eyes peeled for streams on twitch you know the usual stuff uh they'll probably be happening this week so yeah i'll see you around i suppose have a good one bye